This is the town of Berkhamsted in Hertfordshire. In 1988, its cinema, The Rex, closed. With talk of demolition, local people had other ideas. After a 16-year campaign, it was saved. The developer, however, sold the original front foyer separately for a restaurant, causing the construction of a new side entrance to the cinema. Today's parents and children arrive at the cinema for the afternoon show. Sally, Jane and Jackie are busy dealing with the many telephone inquiries, for the Rex is busy again. Described as Britain's most beautiful cinema, the Rex is a restored treasure from cinema's golden age. Designed by architect David Nye for Shipman and King in 1938, at that time it seated 1,100. It now provides the utmost luxury for 294 people. In 1995, local residents formed a pressure group with the aim of reopening the cinema. In the forefront of that campaign was councillor Betty Patterson. James in his film magazine is good enough to refer to me as the original visionary but this needs clarifying a bit. Um, I'm, as a local politician, I was able to see the value to the community of having a cinema, but to most people, the Rex has suddenly appeared as a sort of, uh, like a blossom from a cactus in the town, so a little gem that they can visit. But the four years from 2000 of getting the money together was really very, very hard. And it was really only the money that came from the community in the form of the £60 memberships and the free labour that lots of people put in and Jane, Jane and Lynn sitting at the market stall for two years on the high street every Saturday that actually in the end brought the, made the restoration possible. In December 2004 the dream came true the Rex reopened, mainly due to one man, James Hannaway. Literally this time last year, uh, you'd be surrounded by cement mixers and um, piles of sand and cement. Um, the screen wasn't up, the sound wall wasn't up, the curtains weren't up, the seats weren't in. Um, basically upstairs was, this was more or less finished on the ground down here, but where I'm sitting now was a complete building site just a year ago. The task facing James and his small team of workers seemed impossible. Many people thought it a pipe dream and that it would never be in a position to reopen. When the cinema closed, it was fortunate that English Heritage gave it a Grade 2 listing preventing its demolition. The new owners, Nicholas King Homes, as part of their redevelopment scheme, had to restore the cinema to its original Art Deco condition. During the reconstruction there were no builders on site, no foremen, no designers and no contractors. Just the various skills of the volunteers. Robert Martell and Partners, chartered surveyors of Berkhamsted, gave their expertise free of charge. In November 2002, Work was in progress, much of which was carried out on a material cost-only basis. It is thanks to those hard-working supporters that thousands of pounds were saved over the whole project. The back wall of the stalls will have one of two bars, the other being in the foyer. This area will be equipped with tables and swivel chairs and will have all up-to-date facilities. This is the back of the circle with the projection box above. 
access to the box will be from here. No more will the projectionist stagger up the outside stairway, a hazard especially in winter. This area will eventually contain all the projection equipment, sound system and everything needed to run a modern cinema. In 2002, three special evenings were arranged. The public were invited to sit on concrete floors, drink wine from plastic cups, and watch a short film projected onto a small screen about the closing of the Rex in 1988. Hundreds came. The event marked the first public opening for 16 years. My sister was over the other side in the queues. There across the top of the cinema was all in lovely new bright letters, the name of the film that was being shown. Seats are very comfy. <laughs> we live locally and we're just really pleased it's happening. So we'll be coming as often as possible. Really looking forward and I hope that many people will support the Rex. Well, it's a great turnout this evening. Last night we expected what we got really was about 150, but tonight I was pretty certain tonight we're busy. But the beauty of it is that anybody's seen the building for the first time, first of all, that's astonishing. <laughs> As work progressed, other evenings were arranged. People came to look around whilst the Rex supporters provided refreshments and information. Those attending were invited to become members, which would entitle them to special rates and advance booking times when the cinema reopened. Even at this early stage, publicity was important. Model Nancy Sorrell, with photographer Kelly Cantlian, takes shots for future advertising material. <laughs> 